This is Dr. B, and in this video, we'll balance the equation phosphorus plus chlorine gas yields phosphorus pentachloride. First thing we do, we write down the atoms on each side. We have one phosphorus, two chlorine atoms. We have on the products one phosphorus and chlorine. We have five chlorine atoms. It's a little bit difficult because we have odd numbers. We have five and two here. To resolve that, I'm going to multiply this phosphorus pentachloride, this PCL5, by two. That means it's going to be two times the phosphorus and two times the chlorine. So five times two, that equals 10. And then the one times the two here, that equals two. So now we have even numbers and we can come over to the reactant side and how do we get 10 chlorine atoms? If we put a five in front of the chlorine, two times five, that equals 10. So we've balanced the chlorine atoms. And then for the phosphorus, we need two and we only have one, we could put one times the two here. So one times two, that would give us two phosphorus atoms and we've balanced the equation. The key is we saw we had this odd number here for chlorine and an even number on the reactant side and we multiplied that by two to get 10, which made the rest of the equation fall into place. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for P plus Cl2 yields PCL5. Thanks for watching.